Hey, what's up you guys? Quick word. Thank you, first of all, for watching this video. Thank you for the, you know, incredible support that you've given me over the years. It doesn't matter if you've watched one video or you've watched a hundred or you've watched a thousand because there is almost two thousand videos on this channel. Thank you so much. The time has come. The time has come for me to create a reaction based channel. I asked you guys the question. Over 80% of you said you would be interested in that. So I've decided to take the, the, the leap of faith and um, create a brand new channel. Zero subscribers, zero views. This will be, this video you're watching right now will be one of probably the last five or six reaction videos you will ever see on this channel based around the Rugby Player Reacts title. I'm officially retiring my series titled Rugby Player Reacts. In the future, I will be putting all of my reaction videos on my second channel, Jake Reacts. I wish you all the best. I hope that I'll see you there. If you do want to subscribe, please do. The link is in the description box below. Like I said, this is going to be one of the, the last reaction videos you'll see on this channel. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this new one and I'd absolutely love your support. If you enjoy my videos, I know you'll enjoy these ones. I'm in Rockhampton now. This is my new environment. You'll see all of that plus more on my new channel, Jake Reacts. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the video. Right, my friends. How are we? What is going on? Welcome back to another reaction video. This one's keeping in line with the one that we just did before. Uh, it's a new runner. We're, we're, we love speed on this channel. We love sprinting. And especially seeing the 2021 Olympics is hopefully going to be happening. I, yeah, I, I believe it will um, in July and August. This has to be done. So this video has been on my recommended feed for a, about a month. It came out on February the 3rd, 2021, and it is a guy by the name of Lalu Muhammad Zori, the new sprint sensation. How fast can he run? Well, let's see. Lala Muhammad Zori announced himself on the global scene in 2019 when he shocked the world by defeating a stellar field to win the World Under 20 Championships. He defeated the World Youth Where's he from? Anthony Schwartz, Jamaican youngster Michael Stevens, among other top class juniors. Since then, eyes have remained on the Indonesian sprinter, with many believing we could be on the verge of witnessing a next level Asian talent. Holy this shit! Right today, we will be taking a look, look at him! Zori to see <laughs> what we He's a pocket rocket. Holy shit. He's certainly not the six foot three absolute beast that we just saw before. Um, Eddie, old Ed from New Zealand, but holy shit, he can run. But just how fast can he run? 2021. Wow. After winning the World Under 20 title in 2018, Zari shifted his focus to bigger and better things, that being the Olympic Games, which at the time, would have been less than two years in advance. Working with the best coach in Asia, Ini Narini, Zari took on 2019, with the goal of going faster than his PB of 10.18, that he had run at the World Under 20 champs. Having a PB that fast after just nine races in his second official year of sprinting was indeed a great sign, and it also meant that more than likely he could go way faster. In just his first meet of 20... Okay, I'm not sure why, but the sound has just dropped considerably. ...19, he won the Malaysian Open by... ...way faster. In just his first meet of 2019, he won the Malaysian Open by quite some distancing, finishing 0.2 seconds ahead... Damn, he's quick! Those are some fast twitch muscle fibers. That made him the third fastest junior in the world at the time. Having barely missed the opportunity ah. to set a new personal best, Zari headed to the Asian Championships, where the expectation was to see how he could manage against the best sprinters from the continent. While Big Shin Su was not at the championships, there were some big names still slated to compete. Of those, Yashahide Kiryu was probably the biggest he had to face, as he was one of the few rising Asian stars who managed to run under 10 seconds in the 100 meters event. It was not very surprising to see Zoro making it to the final, even though he was just 18 Shit. years. Okay, so we we just actually looked at this exact meet. He was facing men like Andrew Fisher, a Jamaican native who now runs for Bahrain, and has a best of 9.94 seconds in the 100 meters. Kiryu was there as well, along with the others. The result, however, was insane, 
fans in the Doha Stadium witnessed the 18-year-old pushing Kiryu to the line to earn himself a silver medal at the most prestigious athletics championships on the entire continent. Along with his silver medal, Zari got him... Okay, this... There must have been some form of continental championship. ...himself a brand new national record of 10.13 seconds. Surely, after challenging an elite sprinter it was expected to Team see a higher three. confidence level. And that's exactly what we got less than a month later, because the 18-year-old lined up in an even stronger field. He was in a field that consisted of five sub-10 runners, and if that was not enough, one of those sub-10 runners was the reigning world champion Justin Gatlin. The likes of Cameron Burrell, Kendall Williams, Kiryu and Koike was a part of the lineup, all men who are amongst the best in the world. There's nothing like pure out-and-out -out speed. Doesn't matter what the sport is. You know, some of the most exciting players in rugby, in football, even in basketball and things like that are the fastest players for me. And to actually see these guys do what they do best on a track specifically, this is the fastest of the fast. All I think is, fuck man, <laughs> can we please just take at least one of these guys, put them into a sport that we all love and see how they go. You know, give them five years sprinting. Okay, they make it to 25. Then play another sport. It's not all over, bro. That's the kind of, you know, cross-code sports stories that I just absolutely love. In the end, Zari, who was running from lane eight, barely missed Justin Gatlin and Kiryu, who finished second. In such a strong field, he managed to finish third, running 10.03 seconds, once again lowering his national record. I was looking at the wrong guy, for God's sake. In the end, Zari, who was running from lane 8, barely missed Justin Gatlin and Kiryu, who finished second. In such a strong field, he Damn. managed to finish third, running 10.03 seconds, once again lowering his national record. This probably was the main eye-opener as to how good he really was, because this was the first time he was facing so many guys at this level. And to think he left guys like Cameron Burrell and Kendall Williams in his dust, it was really a performance to cherish. His 10.03 ended the year as the number one time for juniors, even bettering bowling 10.11 which he ran at the under-20 Pan American champs. Jory has a lot of improvement to make, and with that being with a personal best of 10.03, it has to be said that this young man will be one of the names on top of the sprinting world, because having run that time with just three seasons of track and field, you have to believe that, if he remains fit and focused, and more importantly injury free, he will break 10 seconds soon. How far under 10 seconds he goes is another debate. He did have a bad end to his season, when he ran the slowest time of his year in the preliminaries of the World Championships. This meant he was eliminated, but for a 19-year-old going to his first... He definitely, he definitely lost form at the end of that race there. I'm not sure why. He did have a bad end to his season... Did he? ...when he ran the slowest time of his year in the preliminaries... Yeah, well... Mm. The last couple of steps seemed a little bit off. ...areas of the World Championships. This meant he was eliminated, but for a 19-year-old going to his first World Championships at the senior level it wasn't all that bad. If we take a look at history, even Usain Bolt was eliminated in the preliminaries at his first major senior competition, which was the 2004 Olympic Games. So come 2021, assuming we do get a full track and field season, we could see Zari making a massive impact by joining the list of Asians to break 10 seconds, making athletics a bigger sport in his country, and start his journey of becoming a future great in the world of sprinting. Damn, bro. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm watching that Australian guy, right? He's probably, he's, you know, <laughs> From the, from the get-go, in that particular race, he's looking at guys ahead of him. And most probably, you know, slowly but surely, creeping more ahead of him. And for someone to be, you know, near the back of the pack, but to remain within their form, to remain, you know, I guess confident, even though you're losing, would take a real effort up here. When you're, I guess when you're trying to peg back those last few meters, your form would tend to, if at any point in a race, at that point where you're behind, you're trying to peg back a few meters. That's when you'd go away from your normal form, I'd say. So for a, a sprinter to keep their form all the way to the end of the race, 
would be challenging if you're losing. That's just something I thought about then. Anyway, that was interesting. So we've got two new sprinters on the map. Two young sprinters, one from New Zealand and one from Indonesia. Fantastic. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. I'm not gonna keep you here for any longer. In the next one, we're actually gonna look at a Kiwi NFL hopeful recruited by a prestigious college. I'm not actually sure. UC Berkeley, I've never even heard of it. Apparently that's a prestigious college, or is that New Zealand just saying that because he's one of only, well actually we're hopefully gonna find out how many, just how many New Zealanders have been in college football, because it's not many. But with that being said, let's get into it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, thank you for the support, and peace out.